Hello everyone and welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. In this video what we're going to do is focus on Asana. Now I've done a couple of videos on Asana beforehand. For those who don't know, Asana is a project management tool used by a lot of businesses across the world to sort of get things done across a day. It tracks things like files, documents, conversations, and activities and projects, just general things that a team integrate throughout their day. So I've actually done an introduction to the new Asana, which I will link up here. But what I wanted to do today is focus on something they released in mid-November. So on November 15th, they actually released a new feature called Board Layouts. Now this may sound familiar. This is almost a direct competitor to Trello. Trello basically is a similar project management application, but solely focuses on the board element. This board element design is intentionally used by teams across their day to coordinate the positioning of tasks. It's a technique used that is called Kanban. Asana releases new boards feature trying to cater to those looking for a more visual experience. The new boards feature essentially incorporates what Trello has, but brings it to a clean and clutter-free experience on Asana. So the way you access the new board feature is you simply create a new project. Now you can create a basic project, which essentially just gives you all of the basic features of Asana, and you can create this new board layout as a project. Now this will give you access to the board, conversations, calendar, progress, and files. Some of the regular stuff you get with your Asana project. So the main segment of the screen will be the boards area. From the boards area, you can decide with your team the certain stages that you have in each of your projects. These will be highlighted as columns. Once you've created all your columns and you've got a strong layout that you're happy with, you can start creating cards. Cards are essentially the tasks within that, or the ideas or the activities that you're doing uh, within that board, within that project itself. So as you can see in card view, you can actually change the due date as well as assign to a certain member of your team. This is a really useful feature and it's something that Trello does as well. Once you click into each of the cards, you can actually access a much richer experience. You can add tags, you can add subtasks, you can add descriptions, you can add files, comment with team members, and also a host of other features. One of the features that Trello doesn't have is this new like feature. Trello has something called stickers, but this new like feature is quite a cool way for you to interact with team members. So once you're happy with whatever is inside the card, whether it's files or comments, or even some subtasks for the context of another team member, you can actually drag the card over the columns, which is actually a great way to sort of coordinate the position of each of the tasks. It'll help your team at a glance to see the exact stage of all of your cards or tasks or events that you have going on at the moment. Now, as Asana highlights, there are more actions. So you can actually go into each of the cards, click more actions, and you can see a few other actions that can be helpful for your team. For example, you can duplicate tasks, you can copy the link URL, and you can even mark as waiting on so that your team members sort of hurry up when they get into it. So once you've got this board layout set up, it's a pretty impressive tool. I really like the way it's sort of clutter-free, white design experience versus Trello's maybe sort of outdated visuals and sort of uh, like cluttered experience. I've always said this year Trello should have updated. The benefit that sort of Asana adds to the table is the conversations element. Within Trello, you don't actually have any sort of conversations element apart from the comments. You can add some integrations and plugins, but apart from that, that makes it pretty complicated. Asana has that built in, which is very handy. Inside Asana, you also have the calendar feature. You can mark your progress of that project, and you can even attach files and see the progress of any file at any, any given time. I sort of like this feature because it's more project management focused. Overall, I think the new Asana boards feature is a very impressive uh, overview of what you can actually use in your team. I know a lot of people as a business that want a clear cut way to see everything that's going on or the progress of each thing that they need to potentially move to the next stage. So something like this can be really handy. Now Asana claimed that 13,000 businesses use and pay for Asana at the moment but Trello seems to have over 10 million, which is a pretty impressive figure. So who is gonna win the boards battle, Asana or Trello? Drop in the comments, let me know who and why you enjoy each of the experiences. 
Now I'm going to be trying covering some more of these features and updates in future videos, but it's something that I definitely should have fe featured a couple of weeks ago. So thank you very much guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. I put out regular content. So if you're a business or you're a business owner, or you're an individual or a student who's looking to be a bit more productive uh, with tools, then like subscribe to the channel. I put out regular app reviews and software reviews so you guys can go out and use those applications that I recommend. Anyway guys, make sure to like this video as well, thumbs up, do comment, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.